Drowning cause of this and this uh, statement of an, uh, this Champions Cup is a statement for the World War and the World, uh, and the world Rugby. Forenza got to the ball first, but they lost yeah. it. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I'm considering as a coach, don't try to get the ball. Better to don't don't swim there. So they will come anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wasting energy. I never seen someone really scoring out of this position. Well, it's it means two possessions if you can get the ball cleanly. So yeah. But maybe only Norway can do can do that. Oh. Me. No. So the pianos after the ball, they're taking from the close side of the pool. Uh, you see the the ladies go into the middle. Uh, defender is uh, on below the basket. The Piran still have the ball, pulsing down, changing the side. Good possession, ball on the ring, but not enough power. But good for checking. They're getting the ball again. There should be the pass, and another chance from the open side. Too late, passing down to the close side. Then, oh, now friends to get the ball, counter attack, not really fast, more ball controlled. They could not uh, stop the, the attack, but also Francis player is just now able to pass the ball. So it was not quick, so the pass seems a bit, a bit too slow, not powerful enough. Uh, so a little bit missing the energy side on the open pass to the open side over to the middle down but goes to the close side recovered by the piranhas again friends on the ball possession from the close side so but now in the cluster going to the surface the pace of the game is quite quick Now they're pushed back all the way to their own goal by the missed pass. Oh, there it is. Goal. goal. So Ferenczi scored. Yeah, we saw that uh, the the four checking and uh, keeping on the on the attack onto the ball. Uh, they had a good chance uh, to get the ball, and then the defender below the. Um, goalkeeper was missing and that opens the chance to score from the close side of the pool. You, you can't give uh, the bottom away. It's a dangerous part. It's uh, now that this is what the goalkeeper cannot control. And it's uh, not easy to control. That's why the Defenders, the defensive backs have got to put their feet up and keep everybody out. So Sometimes they will call uh, choking in that situation, but some will not. I don't think it was choking, but some referees will call it. Uh, I learned to ignore the referees. <laughs> so I just accept what they say. Not argue, it doesn't change no. anything. Sometimes you have to wake them up to... to recognize something but they always have the power and sometimes uh, they use the power so not argue so attack from the open side pushing yep. over the goalkeeper but uh, pushing the goalkeeper away but not enough control on the, on the ball to give the pass the right but i attack. liked it it was good the way she was pushing it. Yeah, she, she was able to push it away, but no. then she was not able to have the ball open enough no. to to score. So that is... Uh, but this is the same attack, more or less, and they, they have continued. And they will go through and score again, I think, if they keep this up. Now they have no back down. It's a typical thing in uh, the water rugby. When yeah. they try to grab with one hand, they forget about the other hand. And the other hand mainly holding the... Yeah, this sure was came through, yeah. Now you should see that, that uh, Pianos did not able to exchange the goalkeeper. There was even no defender. 
So this completely was empty. Yes. Completely empty. That was and, uh, easy goal. How many players took part in the entire series of that attack? Dives per player. It was maybe ten total. Yeah. So it was even not the dominant. No. So then it just was more lucky. But it was steady that over. O steady. Over that is. Uh, that we say the the continuous drop makes a hole. Yeah. Oh, this is so France is smart enough to attack again, again, again uh, to find uh, the spot to score. So now uh, the Pioneers are on attack mode from the middle, moving to the open side, but there's no, almost no teammate. Early enough uh, to... Now there are two. No, no she got the neck. Very good. She's opened the basket. She couldn't, she couldn't mm. put it down, though. So That's the problem, that when you're pulling the goalie up, you need to go down at the same time. It's uh, something you have to practice. Yeah, the body memory is one of the big uh, story. In and you are, you are underwater. You have to have just different... Uh, moving behavior, and once you establish one, it's almost impossible to get rid of that. Yeah. So uh, when you so if you you memorize the right one, mm. you're a successful player. <laughs> but if you do something mistake and you memorize this, it continue and continue and continue. It's true. So take from Piana, scrapping, and oh, oh on the wing. Very nice play. That they're reverse the situation now, and Perenas they have a chance to work and beat down Frenzy at the goal. So we get the question. Oh, there's the answer already. Uh, what what is uh, the teams uh, playing the final? What time? Uh, it's uh, the girls is a car in Duisburg, uh, 3:30 local time. And the Kiranis have just scored. And the game after it's Bamberg against the uh, Orcas. Uh, I think uh, four thirty local time for the final. So, so the Piranis just scored, so we have uh, the two game one. two one uh Ferenc in blue, Piranhas in white. We have remaining the um, 217 left in the first half. Yeah. But that was good on from for Piranis. They didn't uh, collapse after they fell behind by 2-0. Instead, they came back with the goal and showed good fighting spirit. Yeah, they regrouped, and it's good free throw. up to the surface the ball is now where is it oh now Piranus have it so these are fairly young teams they have young players it some years ago they had uh, mostly older players, but now it's a it shift in generations. Okay. Uh, take from Ferenza. Goalie, goalie no back. She has a forward on her. But there are two of them down. One stays, one goes back. She looks backwards to pass. How often do players know th whether they have someone along with them in when they go in to attack the goal? And they how many have to look after they uh, say, now I'm tired? I would say there are too many uh, were looking and searching Afterwards. for them. Uh, yeah. uh, and the best players know before they go in. Yeah. Basically, sh that should be single when a uh, signal. When someone moves forward, the other one's automatically following. Yes. But sometimes you see it's, uh, oh, there is someone, I make the pass, and they stop swimming. 
Yeah, they, they somehow I had the player as a national team. You give him the, you give her the ball, and sh she stopped using the flippers at the same time. Yeah. It's like it's switching off your your your, your swimming. Wh when they pass, then they turn off. Yeah. Yeah, even they have the ball, and they, they stop swimming. And that is uh, and that is somehow automatically the wrong muscle memory. Oh, okay. How does it sound for you? It's okay. Good. Do you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. So, what do you have? You been watching this match outside, or? I've been watching like the last, like just the goal of the Spanish, and otherwise, no, I was interviewing people around. Great. Well, this is a good, uh, a good, good game. Uh, it went from uh, a two-zero lead in favor of. Firenze and Piran has fought back and got a goal. Yep. And it wasn't uh, an open basket they had to create the situation. So that's impressive that they have that will to not slip further down in the second half, see if they can turn it around. Yeah, I've seen the last two games of those, pl of those teams, like the game this morning, and I was commenting them as well. And it's really interesting. Like, the both have fought very well against the uh, Black Mermaids, and who did they have? Um... This morning, the girls played the Black Mermaids and sorry, and Vienna, respectively. Yes. And it was really interesting games. Both teams like didn't get a too high score and really were fighting the whole time. So I think this game has to be very interesting. They're it's the same strength teams. For of course, for some who are following the competition, they're mm -hmm. thinking about the finals, gold and silver and then bronze. But for the teams that are in the middle, they want to finish as high as highly as possible. Each team has its final. Yeah. Yeah. It's your own final. Your like own final, yeah. It's still the final for what? For the fifth place now? I think it's... No. I, I can't remember. What I think it's the fifth place now. Um, we have the paper here somewhere. No, seventh. Seventh? It's a, it's a fight for the seventh place, but still, it's... That's their final game. Is their final? They have to win this this game. Both teams, and they're they're like, okay, let's win this one, and let's give everything we have. And they, it's the same level. I think that they're really, it's a really fair fight yes. here. Yeah. Yeah. Y now the teams have been sorted out, so you're meeting a team that is going to be closer mm -hmm. in ability. And of course, the teams that they meet, the very best team in the very beginning. That's that's very tough. You know. Yeah. No, and uh, the Spanish, they're like, they ha also have four players who are also playing with the men. Like, each, each time, half, it's uh, half time, so have four players have already played two games today. So, I'd be a bit tired, but I think it's looking good. But uh, their teammates are depending on them, they have to go. Yeah, definitely. And they're going strong. So, you're working with the the media, the, the social media team? Yes. Uh, yes. How many are there? We have... Um, Five or six? Yeah, there is myself, Eva, Bobby, Kim, and Signe, but she's also playing. Yes. So. Yeah. But in social media, playing participation doesn't disqualify you from working. <laughs> For this tournament, no, yeah. but at the World Championship, we will... Like it's prohibited. Yeah. Uh, you have to play it. It's yeah. Yeah, we'll find other people to moderate with us. You could blog anyway. So just, just yeah, but not not with shifts and everything. Yes, it has to be on a volunteer base. Now the Piranhas there counter attacking. Trying to move out. He's staying on the bottom. She's got a teammate above. She Cut. passes to her, but they. But they're on the open side. She's screening a little bit so that her teammate can come over the top. What happened? Grabbing. Who was grabbing what? The basket. Holding. holding. That was holding the basket. Yeah, the Piranhas didn't have like a player going 
immediately at the basket, which is always creates a bit of chaos in the opponent team and the defending team. Okay, let's see how it goes. On the, bottom, mm -hmm. on the right side. The goalie's not sitting very tight right now, but there's, there's an exchange. Now yeah. she's got the goalie's back. Here is nobody. And okay, counter attack. Stolen, yes. Intercepted. Oh. It was a bit long pass. And the goalie's lying a little bit loose. Someone could shoot the ball in. But they managed to get up to the surface. And they lose it. No. Counter attack from Firenze. Now they're coming. One against one. And she has a shoulder in the basket. Uh, the referee didn't see it, but yes. she would have lifted her if she was lying higher. Was she pushing at her back? Or uh, sh she got her like around her uh, waist. Do you think the referee should have blown a whistle? I don't know. It was, you know, it's. Oh. I think they give advantage. Oh, up something up and on the surface. Maybe. Estábamos diciendo que este es un juego de fuerzas muy legales. Eh, las pirañas como las florentinas tuvieron los juegos por la mañana contra Viena y contra eh, las Black Mermaids de Suecia. Es, fueron juegos duros con una diferencia de nivel cierta, pero no, no acaban muy mal los juegos. Uh, aquí la Austria... La, oh. ah, es, es un gol para Italia goal for Italy. Um, it was a free throw apparently and the uh, Italian player immediately stole the basket. The basket was uh, the basket was unguarded, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with the free throw you have to act very fast, yeah. You have to be there, you have to protect your basket. And if they steal it you a player at least has to go and be above them so that you Yeah, that was uh, too bad for the Piranhas. These things happen. Three one now. Mm -mm. Well, they fought back before from 2-0 to 2-1. Let's see what they can do now. Holding without ball. Yeah, Piranhas are under pressure, like, and the Italians really want to to win, as we we're saying. That's their own final now, and that's when you make mistakes. And hopefully there won't be big mistakes or big fouls, because it's it's too bad when you end up with a not so clear game at the end. But both teams are like, especially Piranhas keeps on fighting. Something. I, d I don't think they're going to give. It's the last. They're match. not giving yeah, up, no. and uh, you give everything you have. No. And that's one of the good things about high-level competition mm -hmm. that it motivates the teams to try. Mm -hmm. Ah, here they're not giving any chance yeah. to the Italians. She's like very low in the ball. Yeah. The goalie's got her hands on the ball and her sub comes down. That was some good defending there. Okay, the basket covered. Now counter. How far can she go? Los Piranhas están haciendo un contraataque. Ahora se robarán la pelota de las italianas. Es un juego muy de fuerzas muy legales. Es muy interesante de ver. Esperemos que no hagan muchos errores, que es lo que pasa cuando uno está bajo presión. Eh, pero ambos equipos están jugando y, y compitiendo realmente para, para ganar. Eh, queda poco tiempo. Tres minutos, cuatro. Todavía se puede lograr, pero tal vez pueda empatar. A ver cómo, cómo se desarrolla el, el final del juego. Eh, pero las pirañas no están abandonando el intento. Y es, es su final, es el final de, de cada equipo, es el final para el puesto número 7. Eh, y sí, es el último juego del día, del torneo. Oh. Y... Que pasó? Was it roughing? Roughing. 
And now the Piranha stole the basket of Firenze. Ooh, she pushed her a bit. Yes, they don't call that very often. No, plus she was already. Time out. Time out. For, for Piranhas. And Piranhas means piranhas. Yeah. Yes. Right. Which is a kind of fish that eats a lot. A hungry fish, yes. a flesh-eating fish from the yeah. Amazon yeah. River. What's your? What are your favorite club names? My favorite club names. Bes I have besides just your club. I have to say Fisalis because it's a Greek yeah. club. Um, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Yeah. It's marketing. It's a logo. Yeah, yeah, I. The the animal names are very common. Yeah. It's something. Castores is beavers. Castores, you have orcas, you yeah. have the Boston narwhals. Uh, in the U.S., all the teams, most teams have a uh, animal as a name, yeah. like the New Jersey Hammerheads, and and then you have in Australia as well the uh, University of New South Wales whales. And there are plenty of animals that aren't extinct that you can choose. <laughs> the muskrats, the weasels. There's no limit. Yeah, but then you for underwater rugby, you still need some kind of uh, water animal, and maybe not a beluga that's very sweet and. <laughs> <laughs> Inoffensive. Pretty sure there is sharks and uh, sea dragons. From what Victoria. are those fish that have a, a little lamp out? The sea front? devil. The, that's the unofficial name. Ooh. Oh, score. <laughs> two, two, three now. Two, three. Oh, and there's two minutes thirty left. That's getting interesting. Can we see the, who raised their hand? What number no. was? We can tell you who it was. ¿Sabe alguien en los comentarios? ¿Vio alguien quién levantó la mano? Eh, ¿Quién metió el gol? No pudimos ver. Pero ahora es 3 a 2 para Firenze. Pirañas acaba de apuntar un gol. Quedan dos minutos y medio. Ahora hay un timeout para Firenze. Eh, si no quieren dos minutos y medio de juego es va a ser muy intensivo creo que va a ser van a ser dos minutos 30 muy muy intensivos eh, sí bueno veamos veamos qué pasa ready to go again 20 Rounds seconds left two. yeah the, the sea devils you're asking me in, in, in the t in timeout yes yeah. The sea, sea devils. Sea devil, this animal with this uh, lamp. In front of its face. Yeah, yeah. that's an unofficial name of the uh, Austrian national team, the female national team. It's okay. the Austrian sea devils. Instead of the sea dragons. Sea devils are. Sea devils yeah. are more dangerous. Okay, okay let's see. And in the middle of the pool, they stayed down on the bottom, which is good, defending the ball. Staying a long time. That would be nice if they had new players More help. come and get it. It's Ooh. there. She manages to get it down. Free throw, holding without ball. Do you what position do you play? I play defense. Defen def uh, defensive back. So yeah. you in your scheme, the defensive back is responsible for setting the free throws into play? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's not always. There no, we have both defenders. Defenders has the ball and one defender just behind. Okay. Yeah. That's the How is it in your team? What do you play? Uh, I play forward. Okay. But generally, it is the defensive back who puts the ball in play with the other defensive back facing them. But you can also have some alternative yeah. facing forward. And we have sometimes... Uh, Defender and goalie and yeah, always have different things. And okay. there is no rule that it has to be a forward who takes the ball out at the beginning after a shot after you lose a shot. No, of course not. Oh, what happened? Free throw Free for throw. Piranhas. This is really what we were saying before that uh, Piranhas wants to keep on scoring and Firenze wants to prevent them from that or even manage to score again. And that's uh, might have been rough, and that's when you make fouls. Oh, did she pass behind her back there? No, it was but it was mm -hmm. they're in now in force. They have quite a few Ooh, players. Oh, and there's no. They got the goalie. 
Turn around. Oh, um, couldn't put it in. Uh, was it in? Oh, it was in. It, w- it didn't look very much in. It look, didn't look under the... That was uh, exciting. She turned around to the ball. No, I, didn't, it I didn't see getting it under the... Under the rim. Under the rim. I didn't either, but... Um, Las Piranhas acaban de anotar otro gol. 3-3. Eh, 3-3, 3-3. Eh, es lo que estábamos diciendo antes, que <laughs> cada equipo está, bueno, las, las Florentinas estaban intentando eh, mantener la diferencia y las Piranhas intentando ganar o por lo menos empatar. Y, y bueno, a ver ahora lo que está pasando. Eh, sí, Sorry. las Florentinas cometieron un error. Tuvieron un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un free throw, un tiro libre. Y bueno, eh, pudieron empatar, empatar las pirañas. Así que, a ver, a ver qué pasa. So, I don't know what you said exactly, but I agree. Yeah. No. They made a, no. I just said that yeah, the other Ferenza girls made a, a mistake. And that's, well that's what happens. You're trying really, really hard not to have the, your opponent score again. And that's when you make a foul. And free throw. Ooh, and penalty. Yeah, I guess the time is out. I guess Francis. 45 seconds. Is it a penalty? I'm not sure if it's penalty or if it's pe- penalty shootout. Hmm. The guys are already in the water. It must be penalty shootout. Or was it the time run out exactly as that happened? No. I'm not sure. It could be. I Th- think it's penalty shootout. It would be good if we had um, mm. access to. I think it's penalty shootout. But that that there, is that there is there is men there is men on the water warming up apparently. But that means they no, scored exactly the at the very end of the game. If it's a penalty shootout now. It could be. I mean that would have been with no margin at all. Because w- does we were not seeing the time before. Is a referee going to the shootout? Or, oh, I know what it is. Irreferable? No, that's strange. Maybe... Oh, the goal move. The, the, uh, if they were going to call shoulder in the basket or something like that. No, what could it be? Uh, yeah, but they still they scored. They still scored. So they still scored. The three is... Yeah, they, the point is added, so... And the player with the ball is uh, the basket from Forenza, so that means that it's, it seems like penalty uh. shootout. The basket has moved. It would be nice maybe if uh, after this game they could push the basket back into place. If somebody could transmit that to the pool. Okay, and we have... Oh, is the sound out? Does your microphone oh work? The goalie went back down. Do you hear me? No. Okay. I can't hear you either. I can hear you. I don't hear myself. Oh, now I can hear you again. A little. Okay. What's going on? I don't know. Nothing is going Anyway, there, there's a, here's the penalty shot. She's going up for air. And so we have 20 seconds left. She has 18 seconds left. She's going to dive soon. 16 seconds. Now, here she comes. Yes, that was better. Yeah. And almost. So, she's so we have. Got it in. Nice. And she we pushes ha- it down. It was number moment. 86 from Firenze. I think it was Stephanie Tomschitz. And against, I didn't see the number of the goalie. I don't know. Do you hear me? And the ma- and I, I didn't look. Uh, no, do you hear me in your ears? Uh, in there? It's a little better, but I don't. I, I don't hear myself. It's not this. No. No, That's the uh, ambient pool sound. Yeah. That's the third microphone, which is over there. Uh, this must be us, one and two. I don't know. It's like a don't speak. Do you, do you hear me? Like the people who are watching, do you hear me commenting? Uh, maybe okay. someone will tell us in the live stream. Maybe. Okay, so now we have a shoot from... Uh, so this is penalty shootout. Shooting. Yeah, it's penalty shootout. Number... I cannot read. Number three? Number eight? She's walked up. She's getting away from the goal. The goalie goes the goalie back. Goes She's back. supposed to go back. She's not allowed. So it's number five, Margarita. 20 seconds left. She's trying to get below her. She got her legs off. She's opened up the basket. She's afraid to put the ball out. Now she's twisting around, but she's getting pulled up. And maybe it'll be a, another. There's a cylinder that you're allowed to go in. 
She drops it down all the way. And time, uh, time run out. And so it's a new, sh new shoot. Okay, great. The end of the game. People hear me, that's good. Um, so can that can was number, number. Now you see, she's going over to sit in the penalty box. Okay, yeah, uh, that was number three, I think, from the Piranhas was shooting. Irene, um, Irene Arconada against Margarita um, Luzzi from Firenze. It must have been so a violation. She left the area. She left the basket. So she's yeah. sitting in. So they're shooting again. again. She swims in quickly. That's nice. That's she's underneath. She should be able to get her off now. She's pushing. That, I think, is Laura Sambo, I think, yeah. uh, from Piranhas. And that is goal. Yeah. That so was very, very well done. That was very nice. And so penalty shootouts. We start off with um, three throws, uh, three penalties for each team, and then it's one, 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 one. Yeah, sudden death. Sudden death. And then After three. is now defending, goalies hopped in the water. And did we see who it was? Um, I think it was, I think it was Laura Sambo, with a pink uh, mask on. Uh, okay. No, who defend, no. defend, I don't know. Okay. Go dive, she's down, she goes straight to the basket, she puts up her fins, she's kicking to keep her off, she's got a knee, she's twisting. But the opposing players got below her, trying to get a neck grip, and she's... Is this number? The goalie spins around wisely, but she's got her head off, the fastest exposure, she's got her arm out there, she's taking it! Oh. That's not going to be recoverable. Perenes has come through here, their goalie has just stopped the, the shot. Super pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Oh, <laughs> look, she's so nervous. She's bouncing back and forth. Penalty shootouts are so never this, this funny thing. This is it now. The, this is the shot that can decide the game. No, I think they have three. The, the, I think they start with three, no? Or is it directly uh, sudden death? I think I have three and then sudden death. Okay, but. I think. Let's see. I think each team starts with three shoots. There'll be one more shot after this. I think. So one more chance to defend the, to tie it up again. Mm -mm. But of course, Fidenza has to s score now. Mm -hmm. uh, Pedanis has to score in order to take advantage of the So Pedanis. that's number 91 defending Isabella team. And from Piranhas, I think that's Montse. Got around the waist. Montse Navarroella, the She's captain. She's going to go for air. It's a good choice. It's two big players, two big and strong players, so that's an interesting penalty. Gonna get below, 14 seconds, 13, she's got, she's trying to get a grip, but hasn't, now she's going over the head side, now she's underneath, oh, the ball's exposed, the take it away, <laughs> that's it. She lost the ball. So both teams have stopped well, a penalty. So it remains 4-4, four four. so you, you're... No, yeah, it remains 4-4. Four four. So now, this should be the third penalty shot. Yeah, no, apparently it's just uh, immediately silent death with the penalty shots. Death, yeah. We got to comment here directly 1-1-1, one, one, one. so yeah. if Piranhas had uh, scored, that would have been over. That would have been over, yeah. yes. Yeah. But I, I, I'm not going to say I told you so, because I didn't really know I was guessing. <laughs> when you go to different competitions and they're changing the rules, then you can lose track of it, then you'll remember, and then Alzheimer's sets in. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening. So everything's on this shot now. Everything's on this shot, and yeah, and the next one. Because uh, Firenze started okay, shooting. Yes, yeah. of course. But I mean... She went down very nicely, number seven. So uh, number spinning, seven defending. Uh, yeah. So it's Laura Sambo? Yeah. She shot the one before, and I don't know who scored from the Italians. Yes. Sound is doing work things here. That was, that was very good. Uh, that was good and quick. She got her arm around her waist, lifted her off, and she went down. Very Bam. nice, uh, textbook. Yeah. 
penalty shoot. Margherita Luzzi uh, attacked. Uh, so that was number five. Okay. If your club's playing, do they, and there's a penalty to be shot, do they call on you? Lisa? No. No. I don't like that. I'd rather defend, but I've right. never defended that long. Okay. Um, She's trying to get below. It's coming over the top. Over her. The goal's exposed. Ooh. The goalie has longer arms. She's larger. Now she's underneath. She's slightly she's pushed to her. Get the back. She's got to open. Oh, she uh, lost it, but she has some chance to get it back. No, it's a save. And she's saved, so. So there we have it. I guess the game is over. Firenze 1 5 4 at penalty shoots, shootout. shootout. Um, el juego acaba de acabar con penales. Eh, Firenze logró parar el último y Valentina Anicini de Firenze logró parar el último penalti de Pirañas y con eso gana Firenze. Es un partido muy muy interesante, muy intenso. Eh, sí, buen rugby de un nivel igual de los dos equipos. Bien jugado, chicas, de los dos equipos. Well, that was uh, exciting. That was really exciting. And uh, we should write down the score here on the sheet. Yeah, four or five. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, the four pens work through the next year. Okay, so now we have Firenze is seventh for the women. And Piranhas is eight. And that was that was nice. Next match will be yeah. So I'm leaving, I'm going to more social media things and Thomas takes over. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thomas back here. Yes. We're gonna, get, gonna have some nice games now. Yeah. Tweetong against Akron. It's interesting to see if um, Akron can keep up the pace or if Manu Tweetong can uh, take away the, um, the defensive position and get into Mela, give the ball to most likely Andreas Bernholzen <laughs> and uh, have their standard scoring game. Uh, Ackerman has uh, a lot of very good players, but yes. they have trouble performing they have, in, in the They have some line. trouble executing at the basket, so I think um, some they have some really strong players and they have some uh, players who are not quite on the level as the best players are, and you can see that the performance difference a little bit. Um, uh, Malmö, I think, is uh, pretty leveled so far. They have um, built up the club again over the last years because they were down a bit, uh, but they have done a very good job also acquiring youngsters rebuilding. and uh, rebuilding the club in Sweden. So we'll see if uh, Malmö Triton here uh, can uh, take the lead or if Akaren uh, will actually be able to overpower them with just brute force, I guess, because that's most likely the way they're going to do it. And in recent competitions, Malmö Triton is Showing themselves to be very tough, they're fighting back. Yeah. Uh, 